Right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some brand new Planet Zoo content with our Jammy Conservation Park Projecto. I do hope you enjoyed the intro, my friends. Uh, I've been wanting to do something like that for a little while, but I was holding off on the uh, South American sort of tropical house area being finished before I did so. Uh, like the message says, without you, the community, none of this would have been possible. I was looking at this project the other week and I just can't really believe how far it's come and, uh, and just the quality of it as well you know like it really has been a labor of love uh you know I've, I've really enjoyed doing the live streams with you guys really enjoyed everything that i've built in this project so far and uh you know it's just amazing how far these little builds in a computer game at the end of the day can come and we've we've kind of immersed ourselves in this sort of fantasy zoo world haven't we and it is uh it's just been an absolute pleasure to do it with you guys and i just wanted to have a little a, a little nod to you guys and i just wanted to say thank you so a massive thank Thank you um, for getting this project to the point that you have, because without you, the community, none of it would have been possible, uh, you know, as I've already said. Uh, if you've missed last episode, my friends, it is linked above for you right now. That was our South American Tropical House build. Feel free to go and watch that. It's probably a bit more than a tropical house, to be fair. But yeah, do feel free to go and watch that. Uh, if not, stick with me. Today is something a bit different. It is a zoo management episode, so it's going to be slightly shorter. Um... There's a few comments that obviously I have, uh, you know, taken some information from. I'm going to implement them in today's episode. Uh, what I would say, ladies and gents, is I've not ignored the comments from last episode. I'm going to use those for when I do Sundays, which will obviously be more of a build because of the zone you've chosen to unlock and stuff like that. But all will be revealed in Sunday's episode. I'm not going to be touching upon any of that today because there's more pressing and more important things at hand for us to crack on with. Um, we've got problems with the staff, how the animals are being looked after i want to really really take a look at that we probably need to hire some more staff we definitely need to implement some work zones i want to take a look at the animal levels i want to see how old some of them are how young some of them are how our breeding programs are going and that's basically the most important thing to take away from today's episode and what i will say as well is if there's anything you agree with or don't agree with or you think i could do more or less in the comment section that's what you need to do you just need to let me know basically ladies and gentlemen so let's crack on with today's episode uh and uh you know here's to hopefully another 20 25 years of jammy conservation park uh, if you're con a little confused at how i've worked the years out by the way because it says 88 in the game for every five in-game years that basically is one year so i've been rounding it up and down um to basically get to the uh to get to the number that i did um in uh in that little intro uh but anyway Let's crack on. So the big thing today is staff. I'm going to be doing that first. I really need to get these bases covered and I really need to get this sorted out. Obviously, we are going to be separating our staff into proper sort of professional um, areas. Uh, reptiles, hoof stock, um, big cats, so on and so on. And so each zookeeper will only be able to sort of look after that type of animal um, in whatever part of the build that it's going to be in, basically. Uh, we're also going to take a look at the numbers of other areas as well. Uh, and we're probably going to sort of employ um, those people. Uh, for now, I am just going to stick with free vets. Basically, for the reason why is that we only have one you know major hub for the vets uh so to speak uh one of the brand new zones that will probably get revealed very very shortly is going to be for a big animal hospital and i think once we do that we can really start thinking about um our vets uh what i will do though why i'm here is i will start training some of these staff up because um as we all know um this is something that we have we have said that we will automatically do uh to make sure that our staff are super super efficient obviously only the original original ogs that were here at the very beginning of the project can be five star everybody else can only get to a maximum of four stars uh, just for anyone that's new and uh, is wondering why there's certain staff that are not being trained up um as to a certain level basically that's how we've worked it out um so um i think where the cleaners are concerned i'm i don't think i'm going to set uh work zones for them just yet i think i'm going to leave the work zones for our cleaners at the moment we've got one two three four five six seven uh seven cleaners at the moment i think for a zoo this size maybe we need potentially one or two more um we've got to think about distance that they have to cover and the amount that they have to clean so yeah i think i'm gonna probably employ two more 
Uh, two more cleaners, basically. I think two more caretakers. I think that makes perfect sense to do that. Um, and we can't get their training going because they've just been employed. Um, I think mechanics wise, uh, we only have five mechanics, which actually really isn't a lot at all. Um, I'm going to just take a quick look at how many things they probably have to look after. And it is quite a few. I'm probably going to employ... Uh, based on your suggestions um, and based on the numbers that I'm looking at there, I think I'm going to employ two two more mechanics, I think, as well. Um, I think the mechanics I'm going to set on work zones, potentially, because I think that might work a bit better for those. I think mechanics and the keepers are the ones that really, really need to have work zones uh, placed, basically. Um, keepers, we've got seven. Um... I really need to take a look at animal numbers. So at 27 species, 124 animals. Um, so we probably do need um, a few more keepers. Um, 27 species of animal and only seven keepers is uh, is, a, is a crazy amount of animals that each keys, a keeper would have to look after. And if we are going to specialise our keepers as well, then um, we really need to be thinking about potentially getting a few more in. So um, I am going to employ... Um, someone suggested two more keepers, and I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Uh, I'm going to employ uh, two more of these guys, um, and they will go straight into the list. So that's quite a, it's quite a hefty sort of staff level now, and I think we will crack on and get work zones uh in place we already have one work zone i'm going to delete this one because it's doing nothing we already have this one work zone um and i believe if i was to edit this work zone yes this is for the komodos now basically we set up this um we set up this work zone because this person was the one that was sent to us as a specialist for the komodo dragons um and so i think i'm actually going to leave that person to just deal with the komodos because it was part of the narrative and it was part of the story it makes sense to just leave that one but i am going to rename this um the komodo breeding uh program and uh, that will make complete sense to us uh, where the narrative's concerned then. Um, this is all Komodo. The reason I put these in is because these are obviously, this is like our um, reptile sort of breeding centre, uh, isn't it? We've got, obviously got um, stuff here, here. Uh, this is all sort of kitchens and staff rooms. So they've got places to go and, uh, and sit and whatnot. Um, and I think two kitchens in that one work zone should be enough and should suffice, basically. So I'm going to basically start over here and work my way across, essentially. This is what I'm going to do. Now, a long time ago, someone left me a comment saying that they thought that the elder statesman in the Makaza family um, should be given uh, the reptile house. And then the two youngsters, the two kids, should be given the work zone Um should be given the work zone um, over in the other side of the zoo. And I actually think that makes perfect sense, to be honest with you. So um, this this uh, one I'm about to set up, I've got to remember, um, is going to be for the two older um, members of the Makaza family. So I'm essentially going to do all of the reptile area for them, which is a lot. It is a, it is a lot of uh, habitat. It's... Um, it's a lot for them to really be thinking about uh, for two people. We're probably going to give them someone else to help out uh, with this. I'm not going to include the Komodos in the uh, in this, though, because I think that would it doesn't really make sense to do so um, because the, uh, the the Komodos have got their own zookeeper. And I, I don't really think that it would make sense. But I think the rest of the animals over here, it does make perfect sense for the uh, Makazas to be in charge of these uh, of these animals. So I've just got to make sure that I do get all of the correct um, all of the correct uh, habitats and stuff for these guys. Um, I believe one of these is a kitchen. I don't know which one is, though. One's a trade centre and one's a kitchen. Um, I think this one's a kitchen, so we'll definitely include that. This is a staff room, so we will include that as well. But I also want to include the staff hub in this as well, because this was this is for all of our staff. So I'm going to include these as well. Um, I think that makes sense to do that 
I'm not sure which what building that is. I think that might be a research center. I don't think it's another kitchen. Um, so we will include that. Um, if we was to work our way over here, that's a toilet. These are more reptiles, so they should definitely be included um, in this. Why is that one not highlighting? Oh, there we go. Uh, so that should definitely be included. Um, and that's a toilet. We're not going to include this because this is where Mr. Peabody lives. I'm not going to include that. Um, they're all shops. It's very, very hard, this. Um, they're not going to be included. And, yeah, I think that's I think that's about right. I think that's about all that needs to go um, into this work zone. Um, I'm just going to put Reptarium uh, for this work zone. I think that makes sense. So we've got our tortoises. We've got our crocs. We've got the staff rooms, the kitchens. Um, we've got the baby crocs. We've got the monitor lizard. Um, we've got the snakes that are in here. I'm not going to include these guys. Doesn't make sense to do that. Um, and yeah, I think that that's pretty good. That's a pretty good work zone right there. Now, what we need to do is add staff to this uh, work zone. Now, I need to remember which one of these guys. Yes, it's going to be Dylan, isn't it? Because uh, because of um, the level that they're trained to. So we're going to have Dylan. Um, we're going to have Mary Ellen. Um, they're going to be in the reptarium. I do think we probably need one more because that is a lot of animals to be looking after. Um, so I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, um, I'm going to give Rosie to them as well. So we're going to have three people working on the reptarium. I think that makes perfect sense to do uh, just that. Um, so, right, we've got those three over there. The Komodos are sorted, so that sort of area is uh, is nicely done already. So now we're going to have our Gemsbok and our, um, and our camels. And I think what I'm going to have is I'm going to have two zookeepers working both animals. They're Essentially, both considered hoof stock, so um, you know they could have uh, the, the the same two people working on them, um, and these people might potentially get added to some more stuff if it gets added along uh, the, down the line. So let's uh, create another another work zone, um, and this is going to be for our camels and our gemsbok. So that's the camels, um, that's the gemsbok, and then we want to include kitchens basically um so they've got the big kitchen here that can be included um what's in there I'm trying to work out oh that's the gardens okay that's fine we're not going to include that um so that's a that's a kitchen we're going to include we're we going to include this one as well because it's pretty close it's pretty nearby it makes sense to include that one as well. And I am going to include this one because it is a bit, uh, it is close enough over here. Then we need to include staff rooms. Um, now the staff rooms are a bit of a, a bit of a trek. It does have to be said from, from this area. So it might in our interest at a later date be something that we consider doing is putting a staff room, uh, up, up in this area, potentially, um, just so that our zookeepers don't have too far to go. But I'm going to add the one in the staff hub. Um, it makes the most sense because they would uh, be able to access it this way. So I'm going to put the one in the big staff hub for them um, for, as their staff room. Um, I think that sort of makes the most sense to do that. Um, so, yeah, that should be should be okay. I don't think much more needs adding in there um, at this current time. So, yeah, I'm going to do that as a work zone. And we'll just do this as hoof stock. We'll do this as hoof stock one because I can imagine there's going to be plenty of, uh, of these um, knocking about. So we go back to our staff. We need to find a couple of members uh, to look after these guys. I think I'm going to save, like, Darren and... Uh, and um, and Shelley for potentially the big South American house because I think that's going to be um, quite intense. Or I might have one on the lemurs as well because I think that's quite a big project. So 
I'm going to ignore them for now. Um, I might go with one of the people who has just joined. Um, I know they're not very like well trained, but um, I think we can make it work. And then we might go with um, well, based on what I've said, it might have to be the two that are not very well trained. We will have them. We're definitely going to need. We're definitely going to need more staff based on how the work zones are, are turning out. Actually, so. That is interesting. That is interesting to me that we are probably going to need a few more staff. Um, so yeah, I might, I might just add some. I might add some now. But we're going to do those two on the hoof stock. Let's add. Let's add. So I've got, I've got that garden and that garden. That I've got the peacocks in, and also the flamingos. I, th I was thinking about having a couple of people just doing those because they're the birds. But that's quite a distance. But then if they use the staff hub, then it might be okay. It might be able to get around it if we do it that way. So I'm going to need, I'm definitely going to need probably three new keepers just to look after them, their guard. Now you, can, now you can see why stuff wasn't being maintained properly. Now I can understand completely and utterly why there was so much mess and disease in this zoo um, you've obviously not seen that because I've not been covering that sort of stuff, but it's been popping off that all of the exhibits are a massive disease risk recently. Um, and so I've, and I've kind of been ignoring it. So it's been a bit of a problem. It does have to be said. Um, so I'm going to employ one, two, uh, I don't think that employed that person. No, it didn't because it's not over a path. One, two and three people um so we'll employ those three people and we'll do um we'll do a new work zone this is going to be for the birds so this is going to be covering flamingos peacocks um and potentially if we were to put in ostriches um at a later date because there's a lot there was a lot of talk with us that we we might potentially do that i'm going to add that i'm going to add that because they are very very close by to this garden here um i'm gonna add this one this is a major uh kitchen and i'm gonna add this kitchen just in case we have any overflow and we need um we need to find it and then i'm gonna add this staff room here as well if it will let me why is that not letting me add that there we go i'm gonna add that staff room to it as well because that's actually quite close uh to these i think it makes sense to do that we're going to add that staff room and then um, I'm going to have to have a little think about what to do next. But that's going to be for our that's going to be for our feathered friends. Um, and we're probably going to have I might just I'm going to do, I'm going to go with two and see how it works. And then if I feel like I need a third person on it, I might I might do that. So I'm going to just call this one. Um, I'm going to call this birds one. If you've got any other names, like more uh, better names that you think uh, that we could use, then feel free to leave them in the co uh, comment section, uh, ladies and gents. Um, but yeah, I'm just just trying to just trying to uh, crack on and get this done so that we can be a bit more efficient in this uh, in this um, zoo because it's just a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, Gilda, you can do the birds as well. So then we have. We've got Darren left, and we've got Shelley, and then we've got uh, Yan, who doesn't have a work zone. Oh, Yan is a well-trained person as well. So, hmm, I've obviously missed Yan. So we've got Yan, we've got you, and we have got those. So we've got four left. That should be more than enough. That should be more than enough um to look after the rest of the animals um so yeah i'm gonna do shelly i'm gonna have looking after the lemurs lemur island basically that's gonna be shelly's department um i think that's uh that deserves to be a work zone in itself obviously it does have um it does have its own sort of kitchen and it's got the tortoises as well that she needs to to uh, think about i'm going to add that as a staff room there uh, but it's got its own it's got its own hub so she shouldn't have any problems running that on her own so 
I'm going to call this one. Uh, I'm going to call this one Lima Island. Um, she would have. Um, she would have sort of experience looking after reptiles. What of her parents being sort of reptile king and queen. So um, Shelley Macaza, you are going to look after uh, Lima Island. That's going to be your department. Um, I think that makes perfect sense for you to do that. Um, so we've now got Yan, we've got Goldie, and we've got Darren. They're the three left that we need to give jobs. And I think this is where we're going to give them the jobs. Now, the thing about it, this up here is it's a lot of different types of animals. So we could actually give each one of those keepers its own species over here to look after. Um, I think that might make the most sense to do that. Um, the jaguar could be its own thing to look after. The tapir could be its own thing to look after. The tapir and the anteater could end up becoming one work zone. And then you've got the capuchins. Um, so, yeah, that kind of kind of makes sense to do it that way, doesn't it? And then I think Darren could oversee the whole thing. So let's... Um, Let's uh, let's do that, shall we? Now we've got the we've obviously got frogs in here, and that would require a specialist as well. But I think what I'm going to do for now, rather than employ another, why is it not letting me click on these? There we go. Rather than yeah, rather than employing another zookeeper, I think I'm just going to let Darren look after these guys for now, um, and then I'm going to have Darren just kind of looking after the main sort of tropical house as well. Um, I think that makes sense to do that because obviously if he's looking after the main tropical house, that will mean that he's looking after, um, you know, the, the monkeys and the tapirs, so to speak. So, um, that makes sense to do that. That's a staff room there. If it will let me click on it. There we go. That's a staff room. So we can have that. And then these are actually, um, kitchens. I actually, I added these to the tropical house just because we didn't have a big kitchen hub up this end. So, um, they've been added. So I'm just going to call this one tropical house. Um, that makes sense. We'll give Darren Macaza that one. Um, I'm going to create the work zones first, I think. So Darren can look after that. Then what we'll have is I'll have to add this one um or will i i won't have to uh, they could probably just do the outside couldn't they i could just do the outside tapir and then darren can look after the indoor tapir that makes a bit more i'm gonna i'm gonna add this though i'm gonna add it i'm gonna add this to the work zone because uh, they can help out because i think it's going to get a lot because obviously he's doing the the frogs as well so we'll add that that's going to be um, the tapir, but I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call this one hoof stock two. I'm assuming tapir is a hoof stock. Uh, do correct me if I am wrong, everybody. Um, I obviously I know a fair amount about animals, but I don't know everything there is to know. And then the last thing we need to do is I'm gonna just basically this is gonna be big cat one. I guess we could just call this. We'll add the kitchens. We'll add the uh, we'll add the staff room, um, and that should be that. I'm wondering what that is. Is that a generator? It must be. I must have hidden a generator in there and for completely forgot about it. Um, um, yeah, that's that basically. And we'll just call this one Big Cat One. I could just call it Jaguar if I wanted, but I think it makes more sense to just to kind of name it after the animals. But like I've already said, if you've got more original names that you think would work better, then uh, do let me know. So we're going to do Tropical House for Darren. And then for Goldie, we're going to let Goldie look after the second hoof stock, I think. And then 
we will have Yan looking after our big cat because I think they need someone specialized to do that. So as you can see, we now have work zones for all of our zookeepers and I think that is uh, that makes the most sense to do that. Now, I'm not going to do uh, work zones like I've already said for our cleaners. I'm not going to do them for our security yet. Um, I, what I am going to do is get one more security uh, guard, though. I think that makes sense. Someone did uh, say I should do that. Get one more security guard. I'm not going to do it for them, and I'm not going to do it for the vets at the moment. I'll probably do the vets once we get the big uh, animal hospital built. Uh, but I, I am considering doing work zones for our, for our um, mechanics to make them a bit more efficient. But... I think I'm what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to offer that up to you guys. Do you think we need to do work zones for our mechanics? If you do, let me know in the comment section below and let me know the sorts of work zones that you would do. I'm not going to do it right now though. But one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go through the animals. Now I wanted to take a quick look at the food grade. Um, we are doing food grade two for all of our animals, so I just want to make sure that they're all on food grade two. I think obviously the, the latest additions probably wouldn't be, and that's why I'm having to sort that out now. But that's all done. So our costs a, a year at the minute are 11,530 uh, for our animals. Um, uh, so yeah, that's pretty pretty mad to be honest with you. Um, none of them are hungry. They're all well fed at least. Um, that's one good thing. Um, and then you will see it tells you the animals and the zookeepers that they've kind of got assigned to them uh, in each one. Uh, the gharials is going off again. You'll see re the, the Lima Islanders has really, really gone a bit crazy. Um, we've got seven red rough lemurs and nine ring tailed lemurs, so yeah, it's gone a bit mental at the moment. Um, and so yeah, and then we've got nine sort of gharials there and tapirs we've only got the two um obviously we're keeping them separate so at the moment i am looking for two more tapirs so that we can have two breeding pairs i think that would make more sense to start a breeding program um and then obviously you can see how many sort of flamingos and stuff we've got so i, I really like this screen i think this is um this is a lot better and a lot better than it used to be and then as far as our exhibits are concerned you will see um we've got a bit of a problem with the gear monsters it needs cleaning uh, we have got two yellow anacondas now because obviously we've moved the frogs over. So um, I just basically wanted to fill those um, fill those um, things in. Um, as far as animals are concerned, I don't think we need to do any moving and shaking because we did that at the end of last episode. So I think we're actually okay in that department. Um, we don't think we need to move any animals over. Although... We do have a few youngsters there, and they're not in the baby croc pond. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe that's why I didn't move them over, because we've already got nine over in the baby croc pond. Um, if we were to add these guys, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Um... I'm going to move these three over. I'm going to move those three. I'm going to move the three females over into the baby croc pond. So let's do that, and I'll just leave the two males. I think that makes a bit more sense. The males do get very big once they grow up, and uh, it's uh, it's an issue. Um, and the other thing I wanted to look at was there's some Komodos of bread as well. So I just wanted to check what the deal was with them. As you can see, our flamingo population is increasing, which is really good. Mr. Peabody is still here, everyone. Um, these guys are infertile. I think it's because they've been on... Or it might just be the contraceptive. I'm not sure. Uh, but you will see our, our peacocks are getting a little old. Uh, we might have to think about, um, you know, getting these two boys... Um, I, I, I'm considering once Mr. Peabody's gone, releasing the majority of these to the world and then keeping Ronif and Sai and then getting them some girlfriends because uh, unfortunately the females we've got are their sisters. So we won't be able to do that. Someone asked me to rename the um, the Black Jaguar Coal. So I've done that. Um, uh, so, yeah, I hope that's good. Um, so these, so what we got in the nursery? We've got one two three four in the nursery two in each 
Um, and we've got four more here. And our Komodos are getting quite old, actually. I might keep one of these guys back. I might have to keep one of them back. Obviously, we can't breed because they're brothers and sisters. But yeah, I might keep one of those back uh, when the parents do, unfortunately, leave us. Um, I don't know what to do about this. Do I leave it as it is? Because there's two in there and two in there. I think we had three in each last time. So we probably wouldn't be able to uh, to uh, get them in there. I might move the male over. So this one is the male. The one at the front's the male. So let's move you in there. And then I wish you would just pop the animals back up where it was after you've done that. Uh, let's pop you in there, and then I think I'm going to pop one of the females over into the female one. Um, so that's done, and then we've only got the two. So we'll have four in there, two young and the two adults, because that just about houses the adults, and that's why I like to keep the youngsters out of that. But I don't think there's much more for me to do, ladies and gentlemen. The, the, the project is looking amazing, as I'm sure you can all appreciate. And, uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for joining me um, today for this relatively short episode. Um, I will be back on Sunday, um, and I'm going to hopefully be back on Friday, Thursday slash Friday, for a live stream where we get started on the next project um all will be revealed then basically but you have been voting i do really appreciate it and uh, i'm looking forward to getting the next phase of um jammy conservation park started um if you're new to this channel you've enjoyed what you've seen make sure you hit that subscribe button drop me a like if you have enjoyed this and as i've said throughout today's episode be sure to get involved in that comment section below if there's anything you want me to be doing uh where the zoo management is concerned if there's anything you want to see any of that good stuff uh, feel free to let me know i think we might have just covered everything though with the staff now that was the most important thing in today's episode and obviously just making sure the animals are a-okay um, there are cinematics there is a zoo tour coming up in the not too distant future you've got that look to look forward to my friends but until then i'll see you all real real soon <laughs>